Um, can you explain to me what the difference is between the mashed potatoes and the Greek yogurt? Because, you know, I'm just going to go out on the limb and say that they look surprisingly similar. Can we just show yeah. the audience? Um, if you could see the texture, you would also know what I'm talking about. There's kind of like a chunkiness to the oikos. Am I pronouncing that right? Yes. Um, can you just talk a little bit about how we would use these differently and how we might interchange them in certain recipes? Yeah, well, um, gosh, that's a tough one and a lot of people don't realize that they look so similar that they actually are similar. I mean, see, yogurt is a dairy product and a mashed potato comes from a potato, which is a vegetable. But surprisingly enough, dairy and potatoes are only one molecule apart from being the same organism. So if you take this yogurt, I know that. Yeah, wow. it's, it's a little known fact, but if you take this yogurt and if you heat this to 375 Fahrenheit in a double boiler Dutch oven, this will catenize the protein in this as an extra molecule and it will create an enzyme that then it will uh, create this sort of chain <laughs> reaction within the yogurt that will turn it all into mashed potatoes. Wow, incredible, incredible folks. And knowing that even though they're different flavors on their own, that's sort of one of the differences between mashed potatoes and yogurt is that they taste different. Mashed potatoes um, sort of have this bland taste where they kind of just taste like potatoes and nothing else. And yogurt has a sour taste where it tastes like yogurt and nothing else. Maybe a little cheese, but it tastes like yogurt, most of all, and milk. Um, and so you can complement the flavors. You can add yogurt to the mashed potatoes and vice versa, and you can have mashed potato flavored yogurt or mashed potatoes with yogurt. And the reason they or yogurt that. flavored mashed potatoes? Can you have that? No, I, I specifically said um, mashed potatoes with yogurt because, and this is a good topic that you bring up because um, mashed potatoes with yogurt just means that you added yogurt to it and it has a little yogurt flavor. But um, but yogurt mashed potatoes means that there's more yogurt than potatoes. So. Um, oh, yeah. Does that make sense now? I think it does. Really that makes sense to everybody out there? Well, it makes sense to me, and if it makes sense to me, I'm pretty sure that all of my viewers are on board. Am I right? Um, so basically what you're trying to say is that, uh, well, let me just back up a step. I just want to kind of induce this information out of you in a sort of a smooth transition. But if I have expired yogurt, can I also use it? Let's say that it's late, I just came home from a long day of work. I can tell you where I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm really tired, my kids are so hungry, and all they really want to eat is mashed potatoes. I don't have any mashed potatoes, but I do have a heck of a lot of yogurt, and it did expire a few days ago. Can I just go ahead and use the same heating to mashed potatoes process with old yogurt? Yeah, I knew the answer before you even finished that sentence. Good, he's good. Uh, yes, the answer is yes. This episode is brought to you.